there was windows we could have just jumped off the train and walked out the freaking window. Or if, if those were like vents or something like that. I have no idea. I'm assuming this game is going to end with me doing a boss fight with that main bad guy. Once I kill him, that's probably going to be the end of chapter one. Why is it so dark here? Why wouldn't there be windows? Somebody's going to die here, and I'm going to have to do a fight. Also, why am I the only one not holding a gun? I need ammo. Really use some ammo, boys. Oh, I have a pistol that I actually don't even own anymore. Cool. There's no one there. Really? No, th that's bullshit. No, there's probably invisible guys. There's probably invisible guys because that guy probably somehow teleported up here. Yeah, it is probably a trap. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? There's something in that container. Yep. There was something in that container. What the fuck? All right, enough with the suspense building. Where's your brother? Okay, we just glare at each other for two seconds and then walk away. What the fuck? Oh, he's so dead. There's something behind him. Yep, he's dead. Whoa! That was, uh... Ow. How are you still alive? Shoot him. How are you out of ammo? You're dead. Wow, he kicks you once in the stomach and then you're knocked out. What the fuck was that? The bullets just bounced off. How is this guy still alive? And why isn't he taking damage from bullets? Yeah, sunlight. Isn't it amazing? Oh, he doesn't like light, apparently. And there was a switch in there, and there's electrical switches, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to turn the light on. Yeah, your brother's totally dead, by the way. There's no goddamn way. This isn't dead by daylight where you just suddenly pull yourself off of a hook. Oh, yeah, you can go. Oh, I have to fight him now? Awesome. Thanks. Oh, okay. I got it. I, I know exactly what I have to do. I got to make him charge those, those windows. I got to make him charge these doors. Charge me over here, asshole. Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, I have to hit that switch, too. Alright, he vanished. I don't know where he went. Ow! That hurt a lot. Alright, charge me over here. Come on. Oh, light! Run away! Why aren't you running away? Ow! All right, where's the other one? There's another two over there. Come at you, you prick. I could easily shoot these doors down, by the way. Where did he go? Hey, asshole, over here. Hey, over here. Charge me over here. Nope, you're not? Okay. Ow. Yep, charge me this direction. Come on. Oh, no. Now charge me over here. Charge me over here. All right, cool. Now I can run back over here. Flip this switch, run back over there, flip the other switch.
Yep, charge me down there. Charge all the way in there. Go stare at the light for a few minutes. Yeah, there we go. All four of them. That was easy as hell. Oh, that's why. They were opening the hangar door or something. That's what he was trying. I thought he was trying to turn the power on so he could let Junior down. Oh, sunlight. What the fuck? It's so beautiful. Oh, so I had a shotgun and I could have easily shot him in the face with a shotgun, but no. One pistol to the one pistol shot to the face is going to make him okay. Do I not have to shoot or do I have to shoot him? All right, I guess I have to shoot him. Prick. He's still running with that shotgun that's completely empty, by the way. <laughs> He's still freaking out. Go to him! Like... Where's Jake? Why isn't Jake helping him? Jake's just still standing there, right? Your brother's dead, dude. There's no goddamn way. He's got a fucking hole in him about this big. And I'm just like... Cool guys, don't look at dead people. I'm here! My arm, your your knee is phasing through my my arm. Your arm is phasing through my knee. That was pretty fucked up, though. How he suddenly jabbed him and then it picked him up into the air like that. He almost made it. Again, cool guys don't look at dead people. Also, all of that stuff would have fallen off of that shelf too. It wouldn't have just lain there and then fallen on the all in one piece. Anybody thinks that was me wiping away a tear or something like that? It's not. My nose was itchy. Okay, they've say they've shown the same shot like seventeen different angles. I know it's supposed to be a big dramatic scene, but yeah, I figured that something had to happen here. Wow, I go down hard. I just took a bullet to the brain. Not again. Whoa, whoa, I'm floating right now. Get in the train. Personally, I wouldn't put a bullet in your head. But you didn't personally do it. Everyone, take cover behind the counter. I'll take a look. Her name is Mia. I've been working for this company for 12 years. This isn't the only facility they have. 
Yes, there was another one. You remember now. Why do you think I went private? I can't fight if you're next. You didn't have anything to say. I'm working for my superior. Mike, you thought you were special. I'm a lawyer, and much more. I thought you were special. Do you know Everybody why you're you here? I can't wait to finally meet you, Rato. Whoa! It's a direct order to everyone above security. Oh, I'm here again. There's that door again, and it's gonna move away. Yeah. Set the sentry on motion detector mode. They just opened fire on one site. I would have done the same thing. But why would it have killed its own people? Well, well you, you are, are quite hard to track down. I. So that was like a whole recollection of everything. So was that my life flashing before my eyes? There's gunfire. Whoa, okay. I got shot in the head! What? There is no goddamn way! I have a minigun? And 200 armor! Oh, this is awesome! Okay! Alright, I can't shoot that door, apparently. Holy shit! Get fucking owned, bitches! I don't even have an objective right now. I'm almost out of ammo, though. That's going to be really disappointing when I run out of ammo. I, well, I don't know where I'm even supposed to go. Am I just supposed to kill everybody? Oh, get wrecked. I'm almost out of ammo. Am I gonna have to do a bot? Who was that talking? That was not the same guy, by the way. Alright. I don't know who was just talking, but there was... Fuck you, Bradley Assault Vehicle. Oh, I gotta shoot the barricades. My bad. Alright, go, 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 go. Before we get shot to death, asshole. Also, there's no way that this thing would have taken out a Bradley Assault Vehicle. Fuck you guys, dude. This is awesome. 
Yeah, this is definitely the end of the game. There's no way it's not. The fact that I don't have to worry about this thing overheating. Holy crap, this is awesome. Was not expecting this. This video is going to be a little longer, but it's going to be the finale. Fuck you, bitch! Ow. Alright, I guess I gotta jump out. Can I- can I go, please? Fuck you. I guess I have- I love how he has the hazards on, by the way. That sucks, I, I used up all of that ammo and I didn't actually need to. Die, dude. God, that thing sucks at aiming. Get in! Let's go! Woo, sunlight. Oh. That'd be funny if it was just a bunch of bright lights. Oh, shit! Wow, I didn't know we were actually going to be outside. Okay. Die! <laughs> Fuck you! Alright, I'll get out. I'll get out. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'm opening the gate. Relax. Run faster, Jake, you fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm totally not gonna... Get back in! Get in, dude! Watch out for what? There's that helicopter again. Fuck you, helicopter! Fuck you! Oh! What happened? Oh, shit. Where the hell are we going? I don't want to get out anymore. I just want to use this gun. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm just kind of... Alright, I'm just kind of going off of what this game is. Hi, everybody. Oh, crap. No, we gotta kill you first. We gotta kill you first. Blow up. Thank you. Oh, my God. Those guys got... What? Flying? Shoot the barricades. Alright, barricades are dead. Fuck you, guys. God, how many people have I killed in this game? It is insane. How fucking big is this base? Alright, probably gonna be a helicopter. No, there's a Harrier jet. I saw that. Still has the reflection patterns fucked up. Great, I'm gonna have to fight that. That would be impossible to kill. Nope, it's already off the ground. Hi, helicopter. How you doing? Wow, did you see that dead guy fly out of there? Yeah, I can't shoot you anymore. Sorry. Jeez, we gotta load another section. Holy crap, this is really long. I was not expecting this to be an hour. But I want to finish the... Wow, god damn. Yep. Bye. Oh, that helicopter's just turning to shoot at me. I'm, I'm just shooting, dude. There we go. There goes one. Hopefully I'm hitting it. I can't see. There's so much smoke and shit. I don't think I am hitting it. I can't tell. It's so far away. Nope. I wasn't hitting that at all, I don't think. That wasn't even a hard part. The music's pretty dramatic right now, I'll say that. Yeah, this is... 
That's a lot of chop. I can't shoot backwards. The game won't let me. Oh, we are so fucked. I can't shoot backwards. And I can't shoot straight up either. Oh, fuck. Those helicopters are going down. Wow, the place blew up. The guy was not kidding about that place going nuclear or whatever it happened to it. Wow, that was like some Duke Nukem shit right there. Sorry I was being super quiet, but there, I was just like kind of concentrating on what was going on with the game. It was like so much action, and this video is going to be way longer than I wanted it to be. But, that's alright. I wanted to finish this up in this video anyway. I said I was going to. And I think 18 parts is enough for a chapter. And prologue, I guess you could say. I don't hear any vehicles driving up. Where did the helicopter come from? Okay, I don't have my guns. I don't have an objective. There's obviously a fire over there because I can see it out of the corner. How the hell... Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, the fire shifts if you look at it in a different way. Cool. Helicopter on fire. Awesome. Where did what's-his-face go? And where was the vehicle that I was in? Did I get thrown from the vehicle? Ah, oh, there's a building. The hell is that? There's another helicopter on fire. Are we in the town? And I can't sprint, by the way, in case anybody's like, why aren't you sprinting? I literally can't sprint. Where the fuck are we? Was this a town that was, like, just on the outskirts of that place, or what? This is kind of creepy looking, I'm not gonna lie. This is like some Silent Hill shit right here. I'm swearing for no reason again. Oh, I love how there's a green stop, a uh, green light. Okay. I don't even have an objective. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I can't go that way. The wind's super strong, so I guess I just have to keep walking this way. Oh, is this taking me back towards where the town was? Yeah, there's the explosion. I'm assuming that's what that's supposed to be. This is like... This is like Silent Hill is what I'm saying. How is he alive? He was shot in the freaking head. Wow. This is totally like Silent Hill right now. Shut up! Apparently I was supposed to go in here because my characters are like freaking out when I went up to that door. You look like Max Payne. Who the fuck are you? Does this place mean anything to you? I have no idea. I never talk anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're not where you think you are. You got carried away. It's not your fault. It's hard to stay focused. I don't blame you. But now, it's time to come back. Confused? Don't be. It'll all make sense soon. I just had to wait for you to be ready. I'm gonna count to ten. And when I say ten, you will open your eyes. One. Two. Whoa. Three. Four. Whoa! Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. This is insane. How do you expect us to believe any of that crap? You're hurting yourself. You've been here the entire procedure. We all were. That doesn't mean what we witnessed made any sense. It did. You just have to pay attention to the details. His descriptions were very thorough. Definitely. Were. Thanks to him, we found a way in. 
attack team was able to successfully enter the complex from where he came out. The details? Is that what matters now? I'm sorry, but I didn't see a nuclear explosion in the middle of the city. Did you? <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. You have to learn to differentiate between memory and fantasy. This whole tale with the explosion and the ultimate destruction of the facility was an obvious stress release. Stress release? We don't have time for stress release. We need what? answers. How are we supposed to make sense of his ramblings if half of it is fiction? Easy. We already know what happened the moment he was shot in the head and we took him in. So you could just forget about everything that he said after that. Gentlemen, he's awake. Without time. Is he lucid? What? Him. The Guess fuck? Be necessary. I'm going to need to send him back in. What? So soon? That is not safe. Oh, here we go again. Let's waste two hours hearing him fantasize about how he's going to save the world. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. I have no choice. Our men are inside. We lost radio contact. He is our only hope. If you turn him into a vegetable, he won't be able to help us now, will he? Michael, please. The procedure is already at risk due to his head trauma. If you push him too hard, he might have a seizure. He can take it. He must. Does he understand what we're doing? He'll connect the dots eventually. Won't you, Jake? Maybe you should explain it to him. Having him confused isn't helping. Yeah, please, for the love of God. Look at me. What do you remember? I'm telling you, you should explain everything to him. The bullet has caused a severe head trauma. It's what's causing his short-term memory loss. The harder he will try to think, the worse it will get. Jake, do you know where you are now? Of course he doesn't know. He's been stuck in his head for the past 12 hours. That is inaccurate. He was always in control. We were just guiding him. If we were controlling everything, he wouldn't have had these outbursts of mild fantasy. Jake, everything that you just told us, all the events that you described, took place over the last week. That's right, Wacko. And you weren't sent to some underground place in Arizona. In fact, you haven't moved from this chair since 8 o'clock this morning. What is going on out there? Okay. Go find out. Jake, look at the red light. Jake, listen to my voice. It is your guide. Whatever you do, Keep following my voice. Okay. Follow my voice. What the fuck is going on? I was not expecting that. Follow my voice. I'm assuming this way. Nope. This way. Can't see shit. I'm assuming left. Yeah, here we go. Here. Over here. This way. Nope, not that door either. This, way. this is weird, and I'm weirded out, and I have no idea because this episode's going on way longer than I wanted it to, this and I, th I have no idea how much longer this has. I hear the door. You're almost there, Jake. There it is. I see the door. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, there's those guys. Hey, Terry, Ben, how you guys doing? A scientist? The people that I saved? Can I go up to them? Nope, they're all trapped. There's Takio. More scientists. Those are the three scientists I saved at the end. 
There's the hermit. And then there was the guy. That was the sergeant that guy, I believe, from the prologue. Good. This is where everything split. Now, go back. For the train. For the jet. For level five. Take me back to the north wing on level two. Take me back to the labs. Alright guys, sorry about that. My game decided to crash while this was loading. So, I had to load back into this. Luckily, the autosave wasn't very far away. Don't worry about the gas. There is no gas. You're not suffocating. You're alone. You are safe. Okay. Oh, I'm back in that room with, uh, top... Do you see the journal? Go to it. Okay, I'm going to the journal. Apparently, I'm going to the journal again. Open it. Read it. Oh! There's a magical light coming from the journal again. Duality. My life seems to be full of parallel events, intricately connected, guiding me step by step, foretelling my actions, robbing me of my free will. So, like me with a mouse and keyboard? On one side, I have my work that will help billions and probably save mankind from being annihilated by their own mistakes. There's that face again. Whoa. Finally going back to the creepy ass house. The first time we've actually been back here. This video is going way longer than I wanted it to be. Alright, never mind. I can't go in there. Oh, oh. Okay. What the hell is going on? This is not what I was expecting. I thought all that was real. Apparently it was all bullshit. Open the journal again. Let's have the glowing light. The bond between my co-workers and I, it goes beyond anything I've ever seen. Especially her. We all know what we have to do. We all know there is no other choice. If only he could see it. The Eastern Janus. It seems they forget we are on the same side. One problem, two opposite solutions that cannot coexist. Oh. Now we're back at the house again. So I was. Oh, was I the. Yeah, obvious. Go back in now. Jesus, the same thing. Granted, it is new information every time I go to the journal. This is not what I was expecting. So, I was the head scientist, maybe at the other location that Terry was talking about that got destroyed, that had the original code red. That's what I'm thinking. And something obviously happened. That's a dramatic turn. The house is a little on fire. I still can't do anything. It's a goddamn airplane. What the fuck is going on? Is the world crumbling around me while I'm trying to save it or something like that? 
the fuck is going on? Assuming Mia was his wife, the one that passed away. Oh, there's the. It can't take anymore. His heart is gonna explode. What are you doing? You're killing him. Jake, read it. There's something in the room. What the fuck is going on? Wow, that guy is extremely dead now. Oh, they're zombies. Ugh. Nope, she's probably dead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Chapter 2, which isn't completed yet. Chapter 2, The Dead City. So that was all of Chapter 1. Yeah, but chapter two. What the? Hey, was that Mia? Hey, Mia! Might have a problem. There's some uh, shit going on. Okay, bye! I just went in a circle. I What, what am I doing, by the way? Oh, I can't sprint. Great. Oh, I still have to deal with my sprint bar, even though it doesn't exist right now. I just got thrown out the window. What the f... Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Chapter 2 is done. How am I playing this right now? Okay, there's a Bradley assault vehicle over there. I have no idea how I'm playing this right now. This game... Alright, there goes Mia. I don't want to cut it because I don't want it to be like, oh, it's going to dead end or something like that. Chapter 2 isn't done yet and it hasn't been released. Somebody's facing some zombies. Maybe go towards the big green glowing sign? Oh... Hey. Hi. Whoa. All right. Well, I guess I have to sprint. Uh, inside the vehicle? Nope. Okay. Where am I going? Still, ha I love how I still have to deal with my uh, my sprint bar, even though it doesn't exist on my screen right now. And I'm almost dead, by the way, too. I wanted to point that out. That makes perfect sense. Fuck. Well, they're dead from something. I have no idea what it was. 
This is weird. Again, I don't know how Chapter 2 is playing right now. The game was not finished. The Chapter 2 hasn't been released. You got... Sorry, I know that thing's right there. Chapter 2 isn't done. Coming soon. Okay, something happened back there. I don't know what it was. Just gonna move on. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Let's actually crouch. I'm assuming I have to use the elevator to go up. Fuck. There's a guy coming this way. Of course there is. Of course, and he saw me. Awesome. Congrats, dude. I'm just gonna run over. Oh, nope. The elevator doesn't work. Cool. Nope. Can't call it. Great. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm assuming that way. Oh, cool. I have to actually run all the way around. Which way are you running? Get out of my way! Don't block the fucking hallway! That's bullshit if you do. Do I have to go in there? Nope, I thought that was like a vent that I had to crawl in or something. Boy, it would be awesome if I actually didn't have to deal with my goddamn sprint meter. Hi, Mia. This is weird! I need to end this part! It's going on way too long, but how is Chapter 2 playing right now? Okay. How am I not dead, too? I've been shot like 80 times. Super bad headache. You alright there, Jake? Oh, good. That thing's back. Hi. Hey, what is that? Like his dread or his doubt or something? No, it was... uh. I can't remember what that was. Face your fears, Jake. Let's walk right up on it and punch it in its face. Just bah! Right in the face. Come on, Jake. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's Mia. the hell are these guys? Who's the guy with the invisible suit or something? Oh, he's killing them. Boy, the city's a little fucked up. Wow, okay. Holy crap. That took a really long time. I think I... Wow. That was super surprising of how long that game really was. I mean, that was only chapter one. And... Wow. Because there was a whole prologue, which was only like a couple parts. And then it's been like at least 10 plus parts of just chapter 1. That was a really long last part that I just did. So what I might do is I might break that up into two parts. Like kind of get to a decent place and stop and be like, Hey guys, sorry I'm breaking the part up here. Uh, just because that was a really long video and I don't want to upload an hour and 25 minute video of the finale. So that'll give me two more episodes. So hopefully people won't mind too, too much. But... It does give me a chance to look up and see what's going on, what I'm going to do after this game is done. This was a really cool game. I really did like this game. It was honestly a really cool game. It was fun. There was some little nicks fix every once in a while that I would bitch about, but everything about the game was fair and stuff like that. I mean, there was uh, some parts when uh, like you had to sneak and stuff that were kind of bullshit, but whatever. For a free mod of a game, this game was really cool. 
very long game, all the mechanics worked, and the developers went on to make a couple other games. They actually just released a game a little while ago, I know I talked about it, called uh, Day of Infamy, I believe, which is a World War II shooter style game. This song is not very good, and I'm probably going to cut it out because I don't want to get in trouble. But uh, I am going to keep the, the uh, actual credits up just because I like to do that. But all in all, that was not a bad game. It really wasn't. It was a great game, actually, for a free game. I am curious when the developer is going to release... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I am going to... Uh, uh, I can't talk. I am curious what the developer's going to do for Chapter 2. Obviously, we, got, we saw it was Dead City. So I'm curious what happened. Like, what really happened? Why is the city tearing itself apart and stuff like that? But all in all, a really cool, fun little indie mod. Uh, honestly, I was really surprised. All that was built around Half-Life. So I am curious if the developer is going to actually continue with the game. He does say, yes, I'm going to continue. Uh, the developer did say that I'm going to make a Chapter... Developer did say that he. Feed you bullshit because that is oh, he already said that. Take. He said that he was going to finish. He was going to work on chapter two, but they're a studio and they're working on other. Uh, they have to work on other stuff in order to get money. So it makes sense that they haven't. Um, sort of it makes sense that they they haven't been able to release chapter two or work on it much because they're a small group of developers and they make games and obviously. They can't work just solely on Underhell because if they do, they're not going to get any money out of it. I'm assuming the developers are going to say, yeah, Underhell is forever and always going to be free. I don't think they've ever said they were going to start charging people for more chapters once they come out, which is really nice and very cool of them because it's more or less how the developers kind of got famous was through this game and stuff. Uh, plus, they released uh, that other game. I can't even remember. Insurgency, I believe, is what it was, if I'm thinking about it right. But yeah, it makes sense that they can't just work on Chapter 2 or work more on this game. they got to be able to make money in order to keep their studio or keep their small group of guys together so they can work on stuff. So I'm sure they have maybe a couple people working on it or like maybe one guy working on it. But it makes sense that... You know, they're not working solely on that. They gotta make money, and they wanna keep Underhell free. And I'm rambling a little bit, but all in all, really cool game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. I know it was really long. At this point, it's probably gonna be 18 or 19 parts, but I was very surprised for a free mod. So, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna let the cre credits roll out, see if there's anything else out. So, I will be back. Uh, actually, I think it's actually about to... Oh, nope, I was gonna say, I think it's about to end. And I don't wanna skip it, because I don't want something to be at the end. I actually can't even skip it. Because I don't want to miss a video or something like that. I think we more or less saw how it was going to end and stuff like that. Plus, especially uh, for games, I like to keep the credits up there just because uh, I like it personally. And, I mean, all these people, all of these guys are... They're community members. They're not like a, a full studio. It's not like Call of Duty where they have 800 people, but those are that's how many people worked on it. I mean, these were studio people that are uh, indie developers, I guess you could say, that came together and, and made a game and made a very cool mod slash game. So... All in all, really cool. I was very surprised about how this game was. So I'm going to cut away, and if there's anything at the end, uh, I'll cut back. But, uh, either that or it's about... Nope. All right, well, we're at the special thanks, so luckily we're almost done. We just got to wait for the special thanks to go through. And I'm sure there's quite a few of them, too. Nightmare House 2 team. That's cool. So they must have worked kind of close with those guys. Nightmare House, if you guys remember, that's another game that I played. Actually, it was the game that I played before this one. Uh, Nightmare House, that's really cool that they kind of... I'm just wondering if some of the developers helped out with this one, too. Because I'm pretty sure it's separate people. And uh, Underhill, I believe, was the first big game that these guys did, so... Oh, they actually have the soundtrack, too. That's pretty cool on Bandcamp. Soundtrack was actually pretty good, too. See you in Chapter 2. Yeah, whatever it releases. Because Chapter 1, this one was released back... Christ, this was like 2010, 2011, I believe, is when this came out. So, I am curious. Developers, again, they they'll, every once in a while, they'll do a little update on their uh, IndieDB page. It's like, yeah, don't worry, guys, we're still going to make Chapter 2. But, like I said, they got to make money. So, all right, let's see here if there's going to be anything else. Or just to cut back to the menu. Also, we never really got, got really any scares or anything like that from the, the house or anything, which I was kind of surprised. I thought the game was supposed to be a little bit of a horror game, but really didn't see anything and there was ever a reason to go back to the house so let's see is it just gonna take me back to the menu or is it gonna go to something else oh it does go right back to the house oh there are a few things still to do around here do it bam fucker you all right lady you good? I'm playing again. All right, cool. Now we're actually in Underhell. So that whole thing before, that whole uh, couple other episodes was all part of the prologue.